We're in the examine.com report on Carver and the section 8 safety and toxicity. 8.1 liver health. Carver has been implicated in being a hepatoxin, toxic to the liver, and has been mostly withdrawn in some European countries, Australia and Canada in 2002, due to this. Um, no carver, no new carver contained products have been approved in Japan recently, and this was associated with multiple adverse event reports in the range of 78 to 82. And some reported cases, studies where the carver route was suspected in causing hepatoxicity, hepatitis, and death by hepatic failure. However, one systematic review noted that out of 82 case studies from 1990 to 2002 from the German Federal Institute of Drugs and Medical Device that 20 were unrelated to Carver so that's 82 over 20, 25% 7 doubtfully related to Carver and 31 did not have any sufficient evidence to suspect Carver so that's 31 plus 20, 51 plus 57, 50, sorry, 51 plus 7, 58 out of 82 either were unrelated, doubtfully related, or no, not enough evidence. So that left 21 were confounded and probably related to co-ingested medications and five case studies out of 82 of which 11 papers were published which was out of proportion were reason reasonably related to Kava so five over 82 were reasonably related to Kava but not completely related to. At December 2001, the FDA claimed 26 cases of liver toxicity in Europe associated with CARVA. So, um, these cases, studies appear to be immune system mediated and out of 78 case studies assessed in this review, 23 were potentially linked to CARVA intake with co-ingested compounds, while another four probably linked to isolated CARVA lactones. The next section looks at animal studies. Combining results of these animal trials, it appears longer periods combined with the higher doses may be needed for liver damage, although due to the idiosynatric nature of these case studies, the above may only be general toxicological information and not predictive of the case studies. When establishing an LD50 for the carbolactones, it was found approximately 300 to 400 milligrams daily. Animal studies suggest carver usage is quite safe and liver growth, but not failure, can only be induced by very high doses of carver. However, the mechanisms seen in human case studies differ from animal models and the two may be unrelated. All current human trials using carver have no reported significant adverse effects from carver supplements suggesting a range of safe usage with dosages of around 200 to 300 milligrams of carver lactones via concentrated extracts. It should be noted that these studies tend to control for co-ingested drugs via inclusion criteria. Studies in humans consuming carver the, tr the traditional way that the carver intoxication, a state of drunkenness like alcohol, but reportedly without aggression and high heart levels of happiness associated with con consuming 205 grams of carver powder, approximately 140 to 150 fold higher than the clinical dose. Increased liver enzymes alongside saccadic dysymmetria. Um, 
and reduce accuracy of performing a visual search task. Well, let's relax it. Prolonged use of carb was associated with lower body weight and depressed immune markers, similar to those seen in alcoholics. No human, no controlled human trial has noted liver toxicity with carva in isolation when used at moderate doses, although not too many assess liver enzymes, while most assess clinical signs of liver toxicity. Overdose on carva gives clinical effects similar to alcohol intoxication and seems to give some liver damage as well. It appears to be safe if taken within the demonstrated limits of human interventions, such as 200 to 300 milligrams um, taken for no, more than two months. Conclusions about safety beyond those limits cannot be conclusively made. The other effect is long-term use reported is on the skin. Um, only in populations that keep drink carbon daily and only affected 14.5% of sampled people and it's traditionally thought to be a niacin deficiency but one trial find no supplement changing that condition it appears to be a concern of high dose of carbon taken for prolonged periods of time but is reversible upon cessation so As soon as the carver stops, the um, dermatitis reverses. So that's examine.com. You can see there's many other sections to this publication. Um, I'll just scroll up to the top. Um, and it summarizes the research here. Anxiety, notable research. Subjective well-being, very high research, and um, the rest are less less studied points.